Hi there, uh, this is a Radar Apis tutorial um, focusing on the search function which is very powerful and gives you lots of different uh, techniques to use in your case. So what I'd like to focus on today is showing you how you can use Radar Apis and its massive library to really expand on the concept of the therapeutic pocketbook. Now this repertory um, is very different to Kent and Synthesis is based on Kent so you've got instead of having um, a symptom sort of fully described um, like in Kent you have um, let's say we go to the the back chapter in synthesis and then you type something like pain which is the you know the phenomena you're looking for you go into that chapter and then you know you could put in um, the dorsal region scapulae between yeah by typing so you're going through in these stages through the sub rubrics and then you might put in um, you know a type of pain like cramping or stitching or rheumatic so you know it's it's sort of like a fully described symptom all in one place and you might find something you know very specific where you think great my remedy's got to be in there but um, actually it might be that you know the rubric is incomplete and therefore you're missing a whole bunch of other contenders for the case so in the um, pocketbook you've got like the modalities are all in one location all in one chapter so they've been divided away from the specific location or the specific sensation that they might have had similarly you'll see you know there's a chapter for sensations and complaints in general so it's a much more generalized look so we can we can use this same approach when we're using a search window. Now, you can have more than one search window open at a time by using this button. So we'll start off by adding in some really basic um, fundamental parts of, um, you know, just an example case. So it's affecting the nerves. So you just type it and then press enter twice. You press enter the first time just to confirm that it's the correct word. Okay, then you click to open a new tab in your search window then we'll type another feature of the case periodicity press enter twice and for now you don't necessarily need to go hunting around you know we're just being very general okay then I'll open another tab put in um, so the location the region it's the lumbar region it's also you know we can put in something more specific like the sciatic nerve enter twice and then we'll open another search tab <clears throat> and then we can put in um, a modality so what we're going to do now um, is put in a bracket and that means that it gives us the option to specify um, you know a container for those two words if you like so they've got to be within six words of each other so that's what the brackets allows us to do. Then I'll open another search tab and we'll put in something else. So um, let's put in the type of pain. So I want to look for pain or sensation and then I want to look for um, like a couple of different sensations that came through in the case. So in this case I need two brackets. Okay, don't worry about it too much. That's just what you need. Pain or, so I put in that little symbol there, uh, pain or sensation, then another bracket. So that closes off that portion of the search. And then we're going to look for um, lancinating or pinching. Oops, make sure you spell it right. So that bracket closes off the second portion. Then we need one more that kind of creates a string. So you can see you've got pain and sensation lancinating and pinching all within one um, set of brackets and then we'll enter in you know define it contain it within six words as well and then once that has been found we'll open another search tab and we'll put in um, another feature of the case which was that the it was let's just spell it right changing location 
and again because I want to specify a distance between the words I'm going to put the brackets in and then we'll put one more in let's say we wanted to put in um, a mental symptom so I'm going to put in two brackets again and we're going to put in fear or delusions or dreams of animals, snakes, or dogs. Then we finish it off with two brackets again and put in the dollar sign and specify a word wrap for that search. So once that comes back with some results, we are going to click on the graph button and it's going to extract an analysis essentially like a repertorial analysis but it's using your whole database of repertories and references in a way which is really quite unique to to radar apis um, to be able to combine everything into one is something that not many other softwares can do so you see interesting results coming through like a podium colosynth Agaricus, etc., Lacaninum, Magfos, Iris. So, you know, what you can do here is you can remove like one of the symptoms. So, the changing of location is obviously a very characteristic symptom which is impacting on that, on those results quite heavily. You could take away the um, sensation or the modality or the mind symptom. Um, and that sort of that obviously changed it somewhere there. Periodicity. So it's, it's, it gives you another way to explore um, your case and to work in a generalised Boninghausen type of way. Now one thing to be careful of here, if you want to look up one of these remedies, just be aware that your search window is being used already um, to, to create this analysis. So rather than searching for a remedy go up to the remedy bottle icon and then type the remedy you want to look at let's say um, indigo okay then press enter and you'll go to the keynotes page for that remedy or in this case approving because um, it's a small remedy so the keynotes aren't there for it but um, if you wanted to look in the references you know someone like for Mulan, I think you'll probably have it in um, the synoptic reference. Then we go to the binoculars and then we type in the remedy. Maybe go straight to the affinities. So we see the nervous system, which is good. And then we see some features of the case. Okay, so that's really um, it for today. I hope you find that a useful tutorial.